God dang, this shit gets harder every year. Ah! Woo! Yo, dudes, and do that. Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another month of Halloween. Let the games begin. Just like last year, for the entire month, I'm going to be showing you how to take down various monsters and how you can go from being the victim to the badass hero of your story. So unlike last year, this month of Halloween will have a bit of variety as I have three Tough Like the Tunes planned and one special video for my man in the hockey mask because I made that big video last year. You already know how much I love my boy, so you don't worry. You got it. You got it coming. But with that said, let's start these 31 days off proper. You're watching Jack's Blade's month of Halloween. Let's get some shit out of some psychopaths. Truly. Now last year we did cover how to take down the old school version of Pennywise the Dancing Clown, but this new version has so many quirks and things about him that I just thought we had to redo this one. Now it's still a psychically sensitive entity that feeds off your fear, so the more fearful you are of it, the stronger it's going to get. So you have to work on having courage and heart. That is one thing that'll help you overcome Pennywise, because if you stand up to it and not up to it, it doesn't know how to reply. It cannot fight you back properly. Though, this does not mean you were completely invulnerable as it will turn and freaking slash you with its claws whatsoever. Remember when it was attacking the losers, it turned into various creatures that could still really damage you. So you have to work on your cardiovascular training by doing moderate pace running like in this workout right here or in doing endurance style trains that you are able to keep moving and dodge and be effective on your feet but also you have to have mental strength as well and that's what we got by meditation which I have an entire video on right there and what you really want to focus on is conquering your fear being sound in your mind realizing this thing is going to use what I can and fearful love. It you goes inside your head. It's telepathic. It can see what you're afraid of, what deeply bothers you. So if you learn how to face that and overcome it, then just stand up to it and just like, really? That's all you got? You can really get into his face and just be like, yeah, you ain't nothing petty wise. Yeah, with a swift uppercut, yeah, you'll float too. Thank you, Dashie, for that line. It's so true because you will take it down, all right? Make sure you got your friends with you. I would say you have about six friends with you if it ever tried to attempt you and you wreck its body. Do not let it escape. Also, at all costs, avoid looking into its dead lights. They will hypnotize you and put you into a comatose-like state that will leave you immobilized and that will be no good in helping you save anyone. So keep that in mind when going into contact with this creature. As long as you believe the weapon you are using against it will actually damage it, it will have an effect. That is one of the things about it being a psychically sensitive entity where courage and heart can overcome it. So once you realize, look, you can take a flashlight. And that, no, like you honestly, the, this is the thing that you honestly have to believe this is like a lightsaber or something and then cut it. But like we're not, we don't have the childish naivete. So you just take a good old fashioned gun and freaking blow that thing to bits. Or get a sword and blow that thing, or like cut it into so many pieces, beat it to death. But you can definitely take this thing down. But do not let it escape because if it escapes, it's just gonna come back 27 years longer and then it's just gonna mess with you again. So just get that thing out the way. Also, do not let it get into its dimensional form because that'll just be a whole nother can of worms and you probably don't want to deal with that unless that turtle comes and saves you. But while it's in the tangible form, you and your loser friends can go Power Rangers and beat the crap out of that monster and you will own it. You got this. Work on conquering your fear, yourself, and believe in yourself and believe that, okay, I'm going to find what freaks me out and I will face it. That's the best thing about fear. You step and you face it. And that's the best thing about training, all right? You can work to achieve power and get stronger. Now you can do this. Believe in yourself. And while it may not fully die, it will know that you were not one to be messed with. Now that was a tad difficult, but tomorrow I'm not looking forward to dealing with this cult. Yeah. Yeah.